Today, we bring you the legend of the Whistler, or the Silbon, the dark specter of a man who is condemned to wander eternally through the plains and forests, with an old and ragged sack on his shoulder, in which he carries human bones. This cursed spirit is described by many as an elongated giant up to six meters tall that stands out from the trees wearing a straw hat. It creeps forward emitting an eerie, disturbing whistle that sings musical notes up to D down to G. They say that this frightening sound is a harbinger of death. If you listen closely to the whistle, you should not worry. It means that the whistler is very far away and you aren't in danger. But if you hear it from afar, be careful. It may be too late for you. The legend is believed to date back to the 19th century, and there are many versions of the story. And one of the most widespread, the whistler, was a man who lived with his parents and grandparents and used to go to places whistling, hence his name. As a child, he was raised as a spoiled child who spoiled him in everything, screamed and cried until he always got what he wanted. They say that one day, the boy sitting at the table despised the food that his mother had prepared for him, saying that he wanted to eat roast deer. His distraught father promised he would get one for dinner that night. So the boy and his father went to the forest, but after several hours of hunting, the father found no prey and returned empty-handed. The young man, hungry, was so enraged that he murdered his father in a fit of rage. And with the hunting knife, he took on his entrails to have something to eat. When he got home, he put the entrails on the table and asked his mother to cook them. She, somewhat distrustful, began to ask questions, and when she realized that it was her husband's guts that she was cooking, she panicked. The grandfather, who had found out about the parasite, decided to teach his wicked grandson a lesson. He tied him to a tree and beat his back with lashes until blood flowed profusely. Then he powered lemon and ahi, a spice sauce, on the wound so that he felt the unbearable burning. The young man was banished and cursed and condemned to wander until the end of time by sending the dog Tureko or devil's dog after him to chase him. That is why the barking of the dogs, the ahi, and the whips usually scare the whistler. Since then, he wanders through forests and plains with his characteristic whistle and the filthy sack where he kept the bones of his father's corpse. They say that he stops at the entrance of houses to count the bones in the sack one by one. If the people in the house manage to see or hear him, nothing will happen to them. But if nobody notices his presence, the next morning a member of the family will appear dead and add his bones to his collection. Sometimes he appears in shadow form to attack drunks and womanizers. To the first, he sucks the liquor out of their bodies through the navel. And to the womanizers, he tears them to pieces by ripping out their bones. This legend is also present in Colombian folklore, and in some regions it is known by the name of the Silvador or the Chiflon. The version in Colombia talks about the soul in pain of a womanizer who died alone and simply seeks the company of someone to ride a horse. Although other more sinister stories tell that someone close to whom he hears his whistle will die. If the whistle is high-pitched, it will be a woman, and if it is low, a man. There are many who claim to have seen the whistler in summer, sitting on tree trunks resting while playing with dust in his hands. But it is, above all, in the rainy season that he's hungry for death. Keep your eyes open, Tic Tackers, and if you hear some kind of creepy whistle in the distance, be alert. Because the whistler may be nearby. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!